You guys, good morning. I want y'all to see how I'm leaving behind the scene. So you guys don't think everything is peachy and rosy and perfect. No, but I've psyched myself up that sometimes in life, you will have a little discomfort to achieve the kind of comfort that you're looking for in the future. I always like to use the analogy of um, Olympics and athletes, and any kind of athletes, those guys normally usually they will train for two, three, four, five years or two, three years very rigorously, aggressive, really strong training. Sometimes they will deprive themselves of alcohol, sometimes sex, going out to a party, going to a restaurant. They are just focused for one to two years straight to make sure this machine called their body. It is in shape, it's top notch, and it's ready to hit the ground running and come home with a, with a medal, whether gold or bronze or whatever. You get me? And then once they win that medal, they can continue. But for the rest of their life, they are rich and famous and live comfortable forever. But they had to put themselves through a lot of discomfort to get to that level, to achieve that level of comfortability. If that's a word. If not, I just coined the word. So I wanted to see that when I say come home, don't think, oh, she don't come home to not build her house, she's comfortable now, and she don't want us to make our grind. I'm here. I was living in the apartment for one year, and most of my things were still in bags. I did that on purpose. I purposefully, willfully, you see my food goes on the stove, willfully, deliberately uh, made myself uncomfortable in my apartment so that could, that would, uh, I used that to inspire me, to push me, to drive me, to really work hard to get this house completed. My plan was to move into my house within six months to one year when I came home. I accomplished the one year mark. Now I'm in my house, I'm hoping a few months I can have enough money and finish and fix this house and set it up the way we are used to in the States. You get me? So, without further ado, <laughs> why do they say that without further, who is a do? And anyway, I'm about to start cooking. I'm cooking me some fried, no, I'm cooking me some okra sauce today. Off the grid. Who like my off the grid stove? I like it. If you don't like it, I like it. Where my spoon at? So, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear me. Because the the camera's a little bit further from me. From my dish towel. So I'm steaming some okra. Can y'all hear me? And if you can't, you hear it to me. You want to see what's in my pot? So I'm making some okra sauce this morning with some rice. Maybe I'll make some fufu tomorrow if, some, if there's some leftover. So you guys, I, I want to be doing more videos behind the scene. I think most of you would prefer that too. Because they're giving you a mindset. Now some of you may have the money and you can sit up in, in the West, wherever you are. I know because my people are, my people are scattered abroad. I receive calls from Liberians, UK, Canada, US. Germany, Australia, Vietnam, China, Sweden, Norway, Netherlands, did I mention Canada, France, and on and on and on. My people are scattered abroad. So, unless you have the money where you are and you can afford to stay there, build your house, or just move with your suitcase unpacked, that's wonderful too. There's, there's nothing wrong with that. If that's the kind of resources you have, I salute you and I encourage you to still come home. If you don't have other kind of resources, you want to hustle a little bit like me, come on home. Regardless of your budget, my plan is to encourage you guys to come home. I don't care even what your budget is. You can have a hundred thousand dollars saved from the bank, a million dollars, ten thousand. All of us need to come together, mobilize our creative, innovative skills, our gifts, our talents. The resources we have gathered wherever we have found ourselves scattered in the borough. We bring it back together. We can definitely make this country and this continent great. That is my mission. That is my goal. Granted, some people may have issue with me. No problem. I don't lose sleep over you. I beg you, don't lose sleep over me. 
but I can tell you 98% of the people that watch this video, they are very encouraged. They are stirred up, they are motivated, they are inspired, they call me all the time, they text me, they email me, they say don't stop, don't stop sounding the alarm, don't stop calling us home, you are encouraging us. Each time we watch your video, we want to drum on the next thing to come home, I see you are my part of my tribe. The rest of you got issues, you ain't got issues with me, you got issues with yourself. Hello somebody. <laughs> so look here, I'm in my off grid kitchen. It's all temporary. No, and you know, we think about life. Many times, stages in life are really temporary. Nobody, it's not possible for you to really survive and stay at a particular stage in your life permanently. It's like a still water. It starts to smell, it will attract, you know, dead stuff, debris. It will be on, on, on sanitary, unhealthy, it stench, it stinks. Same thing with life, it's a flow. So every, I believe every phase, situation, and circumstances in life are temporary. You are not meant to be at that level to help do your part. You are never meant to be at any particular level forever in life. If, if you think you are, there's something wrong. Check here and check here. Let me check the food. Speaking about checking, let me check my food we burn. Eh? Are you guys with me? Uh -huh. So we're going to be cooking some of the great food right here. What's my stone? Beyond him. We gonna check. Let me check the food. All right. Come on. You wanna wanna cook in my okra? Who wants to see? Okay, let me bring the camera over. But some people wanna see. Some people are nosy. They want to see what your girl cooking up in her. Nosy. They want to see what your girl cooking up in here. You see what that is? Mmm. Mmm. I'm steaming. This soup, I just pepper that I blended up in my blender, pepper, and just dry fish. I don't like too much meat. I don't know what's happening to me. I'm becoming a vegetarian. What? This is fresh fish, but they dry it. So this is dry fish with some pepper and some seasoning. I steam it down good, and I put my okra inside with my red oil, and I'm about to swallow. No, I'm not going to swallow. Here's my rice. I love this country pot, really. I don't know what they may say. Is it aluminum? I love this country pot. What y'all think? Anyway, let me put the camera back. Let's put the camera back on yours truly. You feel me? Uh oh. The breeze, you guys. So, you since you saw what's in my pot, I hope you said I have to be up close because otherwise you guys can't see me. If I go back, yes, yeah, a little long. If I come way back, y'all see me? Can y'all hear me? I don't know. I'm testing this live. I'm testing recording in my kitchen and cooking. So, no particular stage in life, I will have to be up close. I'll just be, I'll be watching the part right in the camera. I'm watching my part. But no particular phase in life is meant to be forever. It's unhealthy, it's unnatural. It doesn't allow you to grow. You cannot even grow if you stay stagnant at a particular uh, phase in life forever. So I know this is temporary until I get some stuff. <clears throat> until I get some M-O-N-E-Y, hello somebody, and I can finish it step by step. But I'm still grateful to the Most High that in one year, I came June 2023, I moved to my house in July 2024. That's one year and one month. You want to be exact one year one month okay but i moved my house and i bless god for that and i'm very happy and grateful that he allowed me to do that the next phase the next step is to design and finish the house to my comfort to my liking to what i envision it's getting there it's not there yet but it's almost there mm -hmm. let me show you guys something that you might this is the plug when you buy appliances or anything in liberia this is the plug right here this area I purchased the one with USB because I want to use my USB. And I also got my US, this is the plug we're using the USA. The guy's gonna put it upside down, make him just change it around. So if I get any appliances from the US, my electrician, I told him to wire my house to be able to handle, is it 210 and 110 or 220, whatever the voltage in Liberia and the voltage in the US, he could wire my house to handle it so I can use, I can plug Liberian stuff directly in here. I can plug my US stuff directly in there. It's not a good idea. I'm just giving you ideas and suggestions. You don't have to follow me, but I'm just sharing with you. Okay? You guys see my living room? That's my living room for now. 
But like I said, every situation in life is temporary. I think it's time to check on the food. But that's my living room for now. And this is the part of my kitchen, and this is Angel laying on her day bed. That's my stuff in the fire. That's my okra in here. And let me get back to my living room. Oh, who wants to see? Let's check. I think it's time to take the okra. Yes, yes, yes. Let's check. See my okra. What I did when I was in my apartment before I moved here. I grind it open in my blender and I just put it in and put it in the freezer. Now it's easy to cook. It's dumpy, it's fine, it's ready. Mm -hmm. In the States, I used to throw these bags away. My, I brought them with me. I've been reusing them until they cannot be used anymore. I hope they can get it. Yes, yes, yes. So look here. What well, I was going to use, I'll just use one bag. I let the water dry off to continue talking and not paying attention to that. Why didn't somebody tell me that? Why didn't y'all tell me that? Check on the okra. Yes, yes, yes. All right. I don't like what you eat in my food anymore. I think I'm really Yes. Babe, I'll put this one back in the freezer because that's enough. Okay. That's enough. So let me know what your comments, your suggestions, what do you think? What do you think about my kitchen, my upgrade kitchen? What do you think about my living condition? What do you think about the channel? What do you think about Angel? And what do you think about coming home? That's the most important thing. That's really what I really care about. Everything else, I really don't care. I'm just asking to be nice and polite. But I really care about what you think about coming home. That's my goal. That's my mission. And I will not stop the all of you or most of you come home. So we can enjoy this country. Like real sweet. If you get small little money, it's sweet. Mm, it's sweet. Sweet. And you woke up in the morning, you got your house already paid for. Even if your house is not finished, even if your house is unfinished, you wake up in the morning, you don't got to work by no paying rent, paying light bill. Well, LC coming here very soon. But why not do generator? That's costly. But like in the daytime, like right now, I use the generator overnight. And I only use it for like five, six hours. I've been testing myself. I only use it for five or six hours. My stuff is still frozen in the freezer. I only put it in the night time. From 7 p.m. to 12 midnight, 1 o'clock, I already showed you. The, I, have a, I have two security. They right now they work 12 hours, 12 hours, and they say they are used to it, they have done it before, and they are used to it. So 12 hours in the day, 12 hours in the, in the night. So I trained the night security. They set the alarm by 12 midnight, 1 o'clock, they shut the generator off. And it stays off until 7 p.m. The, the, the next day. So right now it's in the morning time. I think, I think it smells like burning. I think it smells like it's burning already. I mean, I just put you here. I'm just sitting right here. I'm just burning. 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 I'm just I'm going 
Okay, let's get it going. I'll be right back. That's my pantry back there, guys. I don't like too much oil. I just use the red oil just for color and flavor. I don't like too much. Some people have the oil, it's fruity. The oil is swimming in there. Like that. Okay. Finishing product. Let me get this foam. Ah. I don't think this okra needs rice. I think it needs some swallow. Swallow. What do you think? You see how? Eh? Yeah? We need some swallow. Swallow here, somebody. This is time for some swallow. Swallow. That's how I like my food. I don't like too much meat business anymore. I don't know what's happening to me. I become a vegetarian. I don't like too much meat now. Just fish. Freshly caught from the Atlantic Ocean. Mm-hmm. Yo, let's eat this morning, huh? When I tell you life is sweet, I think I'm joking. Here it is. Let's talk about African food and African cooking. I have my big barrel of red African country rice. It's somewhere in the pantry. I gotta go dig and find it. But I made some rice for the guys who are working for me and I left it with so I'm gonna eat that. That's what's in the pot. No need to throw it away. Uh -huh. But since I moved, I've only been eating country rice. Just maybe since I've been, I moved to my house maybe July 25th. So it's going on almost one month now. Um, I've been eating that white rice, and I noticed it made me very constipated. But I want to talk to my people. You know, colonization is very bad, and colonization has messed us up badly. Here, the people frown upon their own country rice. Maybe because it has the name country behind it. So they just think, why well, if you eat the country rice, you become country, you are uncivilized. I love my country rice. I sent the men to the market yesterday to buy me some. You said you couldn't find any. Can you imagine? I'm going to grow my own. But our country rice is red. It's creamy. It's milky. It's tasty. It has aroma. It's flavorful. 
but colonization has messed with the people's mind on ground. They frowned upon it, they looked at the rules upon it. They want a white power Chinese rice or white power rice from wherever it's from. That's what they want. And it's always oh, sweet. It's sweet. And today everything is sweet. When they say sweet, it actually means delicious. When I first came, I was kind of confused. Oh, this thing tastes sweet. Oh, that thing tastes sweet. I said, you gotta put sugar in everything you cook. They said, no, sweet don't mean sugar. It means it tastes good. I said, yeah, so don't, you're confusing me. But anyway, I'm getting, I'm getting reacclimated to all the, the lingos that I've missed or that I forgot when I left. So anyway, to them it's sweet. When you hear Liberian men say, oh, the thing is sweet. That doesn't mean it have sugar inside. He's trying to say it's delicious or it's tasty. We have to we have to formulate our own vocabulary. I might have to come together and create a whole vocabulary just for Liberians. Thank you very much. You my people, I like you now. Come on, man, I love you. I know you love me too. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching. This camera, it, it just fit in and out. I don't know what's up. It's the position, it's the lighting. I gotta stand. Maybe I gotta stand up close. I guess that's the best way. But we don't like our country rights. Then you go to the port and line up and sleep on the ground for days because you want what? Civilized rice. But is it civilized to sleep on the ground? Is it civilized to line up for days? You see? When you have your own rice, we have to retrain our people to love and appreciate, accept and celebrate and elevate what is theirs. That rice is good. Another thing is, any small thing happen to them, your left eye twitching, your right eye twitching, you sneeze too much, they go to the pharmacy, 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 pharmacy. Ah! Tablet, tablet, tablet. Even in the village here, I said, you a village man, you going to a tablet? What did our grandparents, our ancestors do when they had headache? Anyone in the bush and grab a piece of leaf, boil it, and uh, chew it, and that was it? Where are those days? Where are those grandmothers? Where are those great-grandmothers? Even in the village, your old lady, she get headache, she won't go get tablet. I said, ah, they have messed our people up. They have messed them up so badly. We gotta come back to natural stuff. Anything man made, it has side effect. Whatever God made, it has no side effect. All benefit, beneficial. Let me check my stuff here. Um, what are uh, What's the dish right? I'm cooking, y'all. can't help me cook, y'all. Y'all can't help me cook. Y'all come over, I'm cooking. This is just for me and you, so don't worry. If I'm cooking for a group, of course I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat over the pot. But would I? Just kidding. <laughs> Calm down, relax. All the restaurant and the food we try to eat, you know how to get prepared the food in the back. Thank you very much. But what was I saying? We gotta go back to natural herbs, natural lotion, natural cream, natural soap, and all those things I used to make them. I started my business and I was making most of them. I just showed on my website yesterday. Yes, I shut it down. But I, I did some videos. I know how to make natural products and natural soup. Natural soup, natural toothpaste, natural deodorant, natural lotion. I know how to make all of those things. I can take papaya and make soap out of it, make lotion. I can take mango. I can make soap or lotion out of it. Natural deodorant. If you don't believe me, take some of those deodorant. Excuse me. Take some of the deodorant that you use. Look at the so-called ingredients and go research. You put in poison in your system. No wonder everybody in America knows somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody who has cancer or has passed on of cancer. It's not cancer. It's diabetes. It's autism. AAD, ADHD, bipolar, lupus. I never met a bunch of Western people that are so civilized and so educated and so rich and yes, so sick. Their bodies are broken. Their minds are broken, their spirit are broken, their bank account broken. But it's called a civilization. And young people here want to sell all their birthright to play DV to run there. They don't realize most of the people if they have money to run here. Can I get an amen? I think I'm done.
Thank you for sharing. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for inviting. Thank you for making the channel to grow. It's growing. Every morning I wake up, I see 10, 20 new subscribers. I say, yes, praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For this YouTube thing, I have suffered with it for years. I know you guys think I'm starting. I've been on YouTube for what, seven, eight years. They, they, I've been fighting to take my channel down. I've created another one. They will take it down. But I say, Lord, this one, they won't dare it. Mm -mm. Because I talk about some political and spiritual religious things that they don't like. And they, they, they algorithm and they censorship. So I've been fighting with them. My other channel had almost 40,000 or so followers or so subscribers. They took it down. And I've been fighting to get it back. Yes. So I want to start this one. I started this channel maybe one or two years or three years before I moved back home to Liberia. And since I moved home, it just took up the ground. I was just trying to call my life. My life. My off the grid life. My, my garden, my kitchen, my stuff begin to harvest, my cooking, everything. I was just, so I, I just want to burn your heart so you can go out, come home. See, now I woke up this morning, I have my moringa tea. Let me show you the pot. It's the cup I drink the moringa tea in. Excuse me. It's my moringa. A moringa and lemongrass from my garden. Hello. Thank you very much. You see, so when my stuff begin to grow, I will chronicle everything. When I harvest, I will chronicle. When I'm cooking, I will chronicle. That's why I can't wait to settle my house so I can start making all those natural products I talked about. Because I'll be using them and I'll be selling them in my shop, I'll open my natural shop eventually. Yes. So you'll come help me to open up this place. You'll come help me to develop this place. I think you see this. Let me check it. No, I don't want to see the burn on here. Where is my mouth? What is phone at? Swallow, y'all. I need some swallow, swallow. I need some swallow, swallow. Put some fufu there. Mm -hmm. Am I burning hard enough? <laughs> That's my goal. That's my plan. Take some fufu, put it there. Pinch it. Mm -hmm. Let it into the head business. I haven't gotten used to it. So I'm sorry. I'm using a spoon. Forgive me now. I'm still African. Thank you very much. So what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. I was all over the place. But I want to burn your heart. I want to motivate you. I want to inspire you. I want to encourage you. I want to provoke you. I want to challenge you. I want to stir something up inside of you that will make you want to jump on the next plane and come home. That's the purpose of my video and my channel. And I hope I succeeded. So let me see the thumbs up. Let me see the subscribership going up. Let me see the wonderful comments in the comment section. And don't forget to hit your girl up. You're looking for a beach, ocean front. Let me show you the view in my kitchen right here. But when I'm standing, I can see it. This is the view from my kitchen from one side. Let me walk to the area on the other side. There's another view from my kitchen here. This is what I can see at the screen. At the, it rain when it rain, the water get on the screen. Got to clean it. Then it's, it's sand. The ocean blows some sand and dust. That's what the screen looks like. You got to clean this every day. Things I never knew about living on the beach, I'm learning that now. You're gonna have to clean your screen every day, <laughs> but the ocean will blow the sand, the dust. There you go. But this is the view. Hello, somebody. What was I saying? I want you all to share, to subscribe, to invite. I say my goal is to turn this channel into at least a hundred thousand or a million subscribers by December. We are on the way. The world growing. It's possible. Ain't nothing impossible. We are the people, we are the tribe that can make the impossibilities possible. We, we have made up our mind, we will turn the forest into a metropolis, we will turn a desert into a metropolis, we will turn a village into a metropolitan city or cities. We are the game changers, the trailblazers, the platforms, the pioneers, the entrepreneurs, the leaders. We are, if you're part of the channel, you are a subscriber, you are one of those people I've just described you. So what you doing? What you waiting on? Subscribe and tell all your relatives. Not only they should listen, they should comment, they should subscribe, and they should comment. Why? Patronize me, because it's how I do my. It's how I survive. <coughs> yes, but once I settle and I start making my natural products, I have another land. I have another acre on the main dusty road. I will have the guys then clearing a little bit, because what I plan on doing is, I'm also going to open up a school. You see, I'm not just doing business just for myself. I'm also going to open up a school. 
for free because the police village they ain't got they're going to charge it at least for now maybe when, when things get better for them maybe we can start charging a little something but right now we do it for free most of them here the education level is up to first grade second grade maybe third grade i'm talking about people that are from the age of one, uh, three years old to 50 years old that's the education level so um i got one acre i will take one lot and have the guys clear one lot we'll build like a little zinc shop uh, yes we got three room four room, uh, room zinc shop that'll be our school for now i have two volunteers and the guy who will be living with me a uh, young man i call him my son he also is a teacher so i have three of them on salary i have to pay them something since they are volunteering i just have to give them some kind of stipend they understand they accept and they understand what i'm trying to do they appreciate that so they won't charge me no more salary i have to give them stipend so I put an announcement out there and I received some books. It's on its way. I don't think the book will arrive before the school starts, but that's okay. At least when you listen, you're a teacher, you have any kind of teaching material, training material, I will have, call me on WhatsApp or text me and I can text you my P.O. box. And I have a sister in the States. She lives in Charlotte, North Carolina. She can collect, you can drop it off if you live in Charlotte. Uh, if not, you can ship the books to her, to her address. You know, she'll get enough to so ship it to me. I'll pay for the shipping cost when it comes to Liberia. But when you ship me to her, you pay for that. Thank you very much. But the point is not just to come here, live, and, and enjoy myself. I want to also try to better the people's lives who are here. I think that's the best thing to do. So if you want to donate, what are books, clothes, shoes, supplies to my school, contact me on WhatsApp. All my information and phone numbers will be, the email address will be on the screen and send the supplies, you can ship it to my sister and uh, I have two of them. The both lady, one in Gaston and one in Charlotte. You ship it to either one of the addresses, it will box it up when it's enough and it will ship it to me. When it gets here, I have to pay for it to pick it up. So that will help. I'll put my, they call the mobile money number if you want to do it or anything, I appreciate that. I still have my cash app, it's working fine. I still have PayPal, that's working fine. I still have Zeal or Zelle and Sendwave. I will have all those information in the video in the comment section feel free come help me if anything if i lease my planet if, if the least i can do is take the reading level from third grade straight to high school i've done something my plan really is to take it from third grade to high school and then from high school i want to open up a little training school uh, trade school to teach them something because they, they the only form of entertainment here because there's no lec there's no internet there's no phone so the only form of entertainment at night is to make babies to drink, the king do the farm one, play the music, and make babies. If you know what I'm saying, we are adults here now. Let's be honest. Uh -huh. So, if I can take the reading level from third grade to at least high school, and then from high school, open up, open up some kind of trade school where the girls can learn how to do hair, manicure, facial, pedicure, massage, cooking, hospitality, you know, what do you call house, house care, house help, you know, babysitter, nanny, the boys can learn uh, construction. Plumbing, electrician, missionary, gardener, driver, chauffeur, you know, other things. Just something to get them started. I might have to go to college and get a degree. And even you with your degree, you're not even happy with it because somebody forced you or influence you or money influence you. And now you're stuck in a job, maybe making good money, but you're not even happy with the job because why? That is not the goal. That's not the goal. That's not the plan. That's not the call. I'm holding my stomach. That is not the call. That is not what God plays inside of you to do. But society or pressure or life or stress or family influence you to go into, into, into a direction of career choice that you're not even happy with right now. So it's not about degrees. I'm not liking degrees either. It's good if you have it, you like it, wonderful. If you have it, you don't like it, then look for something else. And send me your money. Thank you. I got to put a case to the school.